From the self-moving rocks of Death Valley in America to the fireballs emerging from Thailand's Mekong River, what is the real story behind these phenomena? A story that scientists and experts have lost sleep over trying to uncover. In this world, at every moment, somewhere, countless such events are happening that either stun the human mind or make it refuse to believe. And it's this reaction of the mind that compels us to think repeatedly. If this happened, how did it happen? Today, you will witness some of these natural phenomena on Earth, which scientists have either managed to explain or are still far beyond the reach of science. In the midst of Canada's beautiful mountains lies Abraham Lake, which spans 28 kilometers and completely freezes over in the winter season. However, as soon as it freezes, countless round-shaped bubbles form within it. These bubbles, easily visible through the blue ice, turn the lake into a tourist spot during winters. While this natural phenomenon looks incredibly beautiful, if even a small fire is lit near it, the entire lake could explode with a massive bang. But why is this? Where do these bubbles in the lake come from? And why do they make the lake so dangerous? Researchers believe that these bubbles are made of methane gas, a dangerous gas that is released from decaying plants at the bottom of the lake. In winter, when the water of the lake freezes, these bubbles also get trapped in the ice. Despite being frozen, these bubbles still contain methane gas, which could ignite if exposed to even a small spark, potentially setting fire to the methane bubbles spread across the entire 28 kilometers of the lake. In Death Valley, America, a strange and unusual phenomenon has been noticed. It's observed that the rocks lying at the bottom of this valley leave a trail behind them. It appears as if these stones have been dragged from one place to another. People were further astonished when they found some rocks weighing as much as 300 kilograms, stones that no person could possibly move, also had been dragged. The question then arose, how could such heavy stones move on their own on perfectly level ground? If someone had dragged them, then why? And why were there no footprints of those who would have exerted such effort to move them? When no solid answer was found, people started to create fictional stories about Death Valley suggesting that this barren land was inhabited by ghosts and spirits. However, a group of scientists conducted research for many years and announced they had solved the mystery. Indeed, in 2001, paleobiologist Richard Norris from the University of California placed some heavy stones in Death Valley and monitored them remotely with high-resolution cameras. The stones placed in 2001 remained in their original location for 12 years. But suddenly, in 2013, they noticed that the positions of the stones had changed, and the stones had left a trail behind them. Richard Norris explained that the mysterious phenomenon was due to rain, and specifically, the rain that falls in the winter. He stated that when it rains in the winter season here, water accumulates, and, due to the cold at night, a layer of ice forms on top of the water, which floats. During this time, Strong winds cause the floating ice to move, which then collides with the stones on the ground. Since the weight of the ice layer is much greater than that of the stones, it can easily move the stones from one place to another. As soon as the water evaporates, we are left with a scene that appears as if the stones have moved on their own. In the midst of the sea, about seven kilometers off the coast of Mexico, lies a small island known as the Marietta Islands. However, it's even more famous for its hidden beach. Where normal beaches stretch out into open water, this hidden beach is different. It is located within a hole in the ground, surrounded and concealed by the island's greenery. Like typical beaches, this hidden beach also has waves and beach sand. But the question arises, how was this beautiful beach formed on this deserted island? It turns out that in the 1900s, the Mexican army used to conduct bomb blast testing on the surrounding islands. One such test on this island resulted in the creation of a hole in the ground. However, this hole connected to the sea from the inside, leading to it being filled with water. But since this place was above sea level, the water could only fill up to a certain point. The Mekong River, flowing through Thailand, is the 12th longest river in the world. Stretching 4,900 kilometers, 
This river passes through China, Myanmar, Laos, Thailand, and Vietnam. However, the part of the river that passes through the Phon Phisai district in Thailand presents a spectacle so unbelievable each year that it's hard to trust one's eyes. Yes, fireballs, appearing to be made of fire, are seen emerging from the river and shooting rapidly into the sky. In Thailand, these are known as the Naga fireballs. These fireballs, orange like flames, vary in size, with some as large as a basketball. These fireballs shoot up from the river towards the sky and disappear from sight within seconds. They are observed at the end of October, coinciding with a Buddhist celebration. Locals believe that a giant serpent in the river spits these fireballs into the sky during this celebration. However, as usual, science does not agree with this explanation, as these fireballs appear every year without fail. Many scientists have delved into uncovering the secret behind these Naga fireballs. Some scientists have suggested that it could be phosphine gas emerging from the river, while others have brought plasma physics into the discussion but they all end up pondering the same question. If it is gas, why does it only emerge on the day of the Buddhist festival? Despite years of effort, scientists have failed to unveil the mystery. Then in 2002, a private Thai television channel, ITV, conducted a sting operation. The team discreetly hired a boat and went to the other side of the Mekong River. What they saw was that people on the other side of the river were firing tracer rounds with flare guns. Since one side of the river is Thailand, where the festival noise is loud, and the other side is another country, the TV documentary hypothesized that the noise of the festival made it impossible to hear the sounds of gunshots. However, many people refused to believe the TV channel's documentary. Thus, the mystery of the fireballs emerging from the river remains unsolved to this day.